today, I think it's gonna be fun to take sort of like Illustrator content and then bringing that stuff to life. I wanna get started. Here I am in Illustrator. So I just took the, the star tool off to the side. And uh, you know, again, we're just starting from scratch. And then as I, as I do up and down arrows, right, we can make a fun little like burst sort of thing. So what I'm doing is I added an Adobe font. I have a shape in here. And then I can also have like imagery in here as well. Here I'm in Express. So this is what I like, so, you know, start from your content. So it's just a straight up Illustrator file. Uh, this could just as easily be a PDF, by the way, or a PSD. A lot of the shortcuts you use like in Illustrator and Photoshop are available in here. So if I hold down the Option key and I click and drag, just by holding down the Option key, that's gonna duplicate it. Isn't the C getting a little lost? Yeah, in the background. I could just come over here. On the left-hand side, you see all the properties, including shadow. So Ooh. that's what I'm adding. We'll call it Kylie Classics. And then I want to animate it right over here. Animation, click. And then right up here, we have all these options. So let's have it bungee in or drift in. And uh, grow in might work. I think this is good because it feels like a sticker. So it's like getting slapped on. Yeah. Maybe. Let's go in here, edit timeline. Even for this background, let's do this. Detach page background, scale it up. We'll scale it up. We'll still make sure it's underneath everything. We'll just do a bob and we're going <laughs> to slow it down a lot because we just like want to give this like some motion. Here's that classics words right down here. Show layer timing. We'll turn that on. Boop. Oh, there it is. Our layer for Love classics. It. And we could have that come in uh, a second later. Mm -hmm. We'll go right over here. Photos, video. I'll just kind of jump in and grab one of these. Drop it down here is all I'm doing. We don't see the book at all. Well, we want to see more of it sooner. So I'm doing a slip edit. I'll probably add a transition. Click right here, add transition. Add your text. Dynamic, click. Okay, now it's this block text that I can uh, adjust accordingly. Let's go a little bit more nuts like Ooh. this, right? I went ahead and made this brush. All I had to do is drop it in here, uh, make it a pattern brush, click OK. And now I'm like, you know, just kind of treat the corners the way I want to like auto center the content. So just kind of did that one thing. And now I have um, a brush. I would start to conform the width. This is like the width profile. So now we're getting something a little bit more fun. We'll jump in here. We'll change this to smooth. But now we have these tentacles for our like <gasps> our sea creature. The next step would be to, you know, bring it into uh, Express. These splashes, this is a case where we could get into some fun mm. things like animation, uh, looping, and like just like a jitter sort of like splashed up. We got to make this bob. So we have that kind of bobbing. Up Whoa, there. that's wild. <laughs> there's kind of, there's roughly what's what's going on with like all those layers and everything. That is so cool. Thank you so much for tuning in.